<laughs> okay. <laughs> that's like a great way to start it off. <laughs> that's enough. You need DJ Enough High 97. And I'm laughing because Shad is sitting here wrapped up in a blanket. This is her blanket, by the way. And like it's, it's cold. It's not that cold, but... Oh, it's not that cold. But this is your blanket. So it has to be this cold. And you know it's that cold. And you just mad because I have your blanket. And it's a part of my fit now. Boom. Yeah, it actually matches, which I'm very... Yep. Look at okay. That. Well, anyway, <laughs> we're here to celebrate because yes. you just put out your debut album today. Boom. True Colors, baby. We out here. And you could have told me the name of the album nine months ago when I first asked you. Well, I didn't think that it was the right time. And since you know me, these things take time. Okay. So, Pun intended. Yeah. I had to, you know, keep it a secret. All right. So let's show people your album cover. Boom. Look and at DC. That's all DC right there. Tell us about this album cover. I know it's special. Well, you know, I just wanted to put... You know, every song has, like, I guess, a visual with it. So I just wanted to put all of that together. And Well, shout out to Natural. He did it. But, you know, we sat down. And you, <clears throat> we really tried to figure out how we can just make everything DC and Chaz French and True Colors, you know? So it came together perfect. Look at my beautiful kids. Look at them. Awesome. And with the album, mm -hmm. it's like you're giving people a tour of DC because you're mm -hmm. in the car with those two over there. I'm in the car with Zay right there. Okay. <laughs> was you driving or was I driving? Sometimes he was driving. Sometimes I was driving. And basically, they just you was tell us about you like you record your conversations and yeah. I mean, no, we just wanted to take people on a ride just in DC and not even just so much DC, just my life through my life. Every skit that we did was just like you know. It was me. It was transitioning to each song and what I was going through at the time. And literally the whole process of making True Colors was that. You know, like we we had a lot of fun, would you say? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. And, it, you know, it was a beautiful thing, like I've been saying, uh, to share what I love with the people I love the most and the people I trust the most and the people that, you know, really... I respect their opinion and I, I respect their vision and we all have the same idea of where we want to be. So it's like it, it all always comes together great. So speaking of True Colors, your first song on hold the up. album. Hold up, hold up. Check my blanket out. <laughs> 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 okay, your first song on the album is yeah. called True Colors. Yeah. Speak on the significance of this. Yo, so... um. My intro, Zay, Zay always tells me, like, bro, your intros be so fire. So I just, like, wanted to let people know, like, basically the ride we were about to go on and what we were about to address and what we were about to talk about. And just everything that I was experiencing during that time, I put in the intro and I wanted to let people know, like, yo, this is what we about to get into. Like, True Colors is more than just, I guess, a title. Like, it's really a action, like, to show your true colors and i just wanted people to see who i really am and accept me for what i really am so how would you say people portray you after listening to this album i don't know yet it's been a day <laughs> well if you had to guess <laughs> just, i don't know they get it like i'm getting a lot of great feedback like people are like yo i really like my phone has been non-stop and it's just like yo you really put it all out there bro like you really like I, they, people respect the fact that I don't have any cut cards when it comes to like because it, like outside of music I have like a very hard time communicating like I'm one of those people who like likes to keep it in like oh I don't I'll just ignore it or not address it and I feel like when I make music that's when I let you know how I feel you know that's when I just spill it all some people like if i make a song about a person or if i put a person in a song they be like damn i didn't know you felt like that and it's like yeah this is this is my moment of clarity i know like one of those songs it's not we don't have the photo for that but all one good. of the songs is the pop song i yeah. know and do you want to talk about that one a little bit yeah i mean yeah we talk about whatever song you would like to talk about let me fix my um your poncho yeah <laughs> um but pops um i was just talking about it earlier like growing up my dad wasn't around and and it's not like now that I'm older I realized that it wasn't by choice I, I realized like he didn't neglect me I realized it was just the situation that he was in in life and I used to have a grudge and I used to hold hold it against him I used to be upset and I used to be angry but part of that was because I didn't know you know like when you don't know I was just ignorant to a lot of things and I was just blind to a lot of things so it was just like 
I felt like I would take my anger out on him and my music and just in general. So I feel like I owe him a song like that. So when did you guys, when were you guys able to have that conversation together? Um, we talk, we now as of recent, we talk a lot. So before the song, he would hit me up and be like, that's how you feel? Like when he heard certain records or for real, that's that's what it's about? Or da 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 why you never addressed it, why you never said it? And so now that I'm growing, you know, it takes it takes you to grow up. It takes you to change. See, change is the only consistent thing, and certain people can't accept change. But now that I, like I said, now that I'm trying to learn from all my negatives and learn from all my mistakes, I can address it. And, you know, I told him, look, I apologize. This is how I felt. You got to understand. You got to look at it from my point of view, too, because, like I said in the song, you ain't, your dad wasn't around either. So I can only imagine how you feel. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like me just, I guess that was my way of saying I, I, I apologize. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my dad. And I'm taller than him. <laughs> so the next song is America with mm -hmm. KKK. Yeah. Dump Trump. <laughs> Not my president. So let's speak on this one because uh -huh. this one's like really deep. Yeah. If you like read into all the lyrics. Yeah. Did you read into them? I did read into them. No, you didn't. Yes, you didn't I did. Right. Yes, I did. Because so, I know one of them is like. Oh, um, uh, 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 let's see. You got the mic too. Turn up. Okay. So one of them is. Uh, you on the spot. I know. And I have like the words, but they're like in the wrong sequence. But it's, it's along the lines this is America, but uh, you can't. It's hard being black or you're going to die black in America or something I ain't like say that. nothing about okay. that. Okay. You know what? No. I put you that. I just said. Put it on my paper over there. Uh, where is it at? Somebody get her the paper so she can read this lyric. Let's see what lyric she was talking about. Uh, Why I get comfortable in your blanket. Okay. Being black in America, America is a dangerous thing to be. Being black in America, America. is a dangerous thing to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just the climate of what's going on, cops killing us for no reason, and they've been doing it, but now it's just like, it's in the light, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, they put the cameras on the badge to show they don't give a F, so it's just like, it is what it is, man. They, I don't know, I hate talking politics and stuff like that, and it's like my first record that I ever really addressed it, because they say you lose friends and stuff talking politics and religion. And so, music too. Yeah, so, and music, yeah. So it's, I mean, it's a, it's a bad space, and it's always been like that. And now that we're seeing it, like, dog, we saw people get killed on Instagram, like I said in the song. So it's just like, for what? Because my, my skin is a couple shades darker. And another thing you said, because I actually remember this one. Uh-oh. You were like, um, police, they can go home and be with their families, but yeah. you have this other guy that's... It's, what, 13, 13 years, years for, for two grams. Yeah, okay. like they can kill and they can, with the what happened with the uh the recent the guy who got killed, they gave the cop fifty thousand oh, dollars to uh for Philip? Yeah, yeah, like so he, he, he got a reward basically for that to leave your job after killing somebody. Damn. And do you feel like because we're seeing more and more of these videos mm -hmm. that we are starting to get dis tens ugh, desensitized? I mean, we just, at this point, everybody's just upset. And everybody's, like, I'm not going to say confused because we see it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's scary. It's, it's, it's just scary because it can happen at any moment. It can happen to a family member. It can happen to a friend. Like, just think about the people's families. Think, just think about the people who have kids or shit the people who are kids that are, are getting killed because of ice uh uh, uh arizona's and skittles and hoodies yeah trayvon martin so how do you i know you want to in it you're also talking about you want to uh, uplift people but it's yeah. hard to uplift people like when sometimes you're just like you're not even sure yourself yeah that's on the song too and i said try making happy music we ain't happy i mean because like at the end of the day, who's going to save the superhero, you know? Like, sometimes you feel like you're in it by yourself, and that's just being human. That doesn't have nothing to do with anybody else. Sometimes you just get lost in your thoughts. Sometimes, well, I know for me, I overthink, and I and I think myself into problems that I don't even have. You know what I'm saying? I think like, everyone does that. Yeah, so it's just like, I have no reason not to be happy, like, to be unhappy. Like, I'm, I do what I love every day. I got beautiful kids. I got people around me that support me. Why am I unhappy? 
but that's just because you know it's all it's 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 all so much to talk about because just like it's the expectation you set for yourself or it's how you see yourself at a certain amount of time oh i feel like i should be here or i feel like i should do this or i mean even when you see other people doing things and, and you you try, you try to be like, man, I ain't worried about what nobody else is doing, but you are, cause you're paying attention, and you. So it's tough. It's tough to, you know, to accept certain things. Sometimes it's just like, why me? So, with those insecurities, like, mm -hmm. how are you battling those type of things? Cause everyone has them. Well, I'm accepting them. Insecurities is on the end, like, so I just gotta figure that out on my own you know so i can't take that out on nobody else even though sometimes you do subconsciously but it's like i just got to figure it out i mean it is what it is whatever is supposed to happen is going to happen so ultimately you just got to keep doing what you're doing you got to trust yourself and you got to believe in yourself more than nobody else more than everybody else does so what do you want it starts with you <laughs> so what do you want people to take away from this song america yeah i just want them to dump trump <laughs> Boom. All right, next song. This hey. line. Woo! This is a deep record too. Tell yeah. Me about it. Yo, I just I was going through a lot of this time. I'm not gonna write fully get into it, but I was just one of them days where you just, you know, overthinking and just in your thoughts and it's just like I gotta do something. I need to get this off my chest. So I wrote that song. And it was just me trying to balance and find a thin line but the thinnest line though like i wish i can really get into what the thinnest line really is but i don't want to go that far Why but it's not? just like because it's too much <laughs> but like it's just me trying to really figure out i don't know, just balance chaz the rapper chaz the dad chaz the friend chaz the brother just really trying to you know make sure that everybody's happy you know, like I, like I said in the song, I, I found satisfaction out of trying to make everybody happy, and sometimes that get that leaves you in a messed up place. Sometimes you you end up not happy, but you're satisfied because everybody else is. And then you and, and sometimes when you sacrifice and you put yourself before, or when you put other people before yourself, you end up with the shit in the stick. And I'm fine with that sometimes though, because I really care about other people. And once I'm invested in somebody, and once I really like trust and really build with somebody, like I'm all in. Like, you know, I'm ready. I'm 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 with you all day. So. And on this year, label mate BJ's on it. So, yes, one of the greatest. So when you guys, when you came to him with the project, what yeah. was the conversation? Man, that? me and BJ joke for like an hour before we do anything like every time i see him we just joke and he's always high he smokes good weed too <laughs> i said that about three people this whole is him who else currency and shy shy glizzy has great weed but uh anyway you know it was just a good it was it was effortless it was just easy it wasn't forced it was just you know i brought the idea to him well, actually dre my manager was like yo i think bj would be dope on this and we already just before we even made music we just been cool kicked it joked and had a good time and turned up so it was pretty fun it was it was and Saba's actually on the record too she's dope so what do you want people to take away from this song um i was this was just me like really being emotional and just letting people know what it is and what i was going through at that time and like I said, I pray I never let people down, no matter what, no matter if I look crazy at the end of the day, no matter if I end up without, I'm st I still don't want to let nobody down. I still want to please everybody. That's just the mentality I have. I'll give my last if I have it. And even if I don't, I'll try to get it to give. Yeah. Okay. Any last words about True Colors? Buy it. Get it. Love it. Sit with it. Spread the word. True Colors. Chaz French. 368. Motown. Capital Records. We in here. Boom.